Former President Trump did hold that roundtable yesterday with CEOs of some of our country's biggest companies. We're starting to learn some details from that meeting, which was led by our own Larry Kudlow. So we called him up, and you know what? He was happy to come join us on set. He's here now. Larry, always great to see you. Day after, I can say a few more things. It was off the record, but I can say a few more what things. What can you share with us? Well, I thought it was the most interesting. Look. The, the, the business roundtable people were particularly worried about the corporate tax because you've had some, and of course, Biden wants to overturn it and raise it from 21 to 35. Mm -hmm. And you've even had some Republicans in the House suggest maybe they could raise it a few notches mm -hmm. uh, in some kind of deal next year. So I asked President Trump directly, will he keep the 21% corporate tax rate? And he said yes. Okay. He said yes. And then, as is his custom, he ruminates about the whole story. And he said, well, you know, we could go lower. He said 20% is a nice round number. But then he went beyond that. Uh, and he said, well, you know, we could also do 18%. And then he finally said, by the way, he looked at me and he said, by the way, during the campaign back in 2016, the original plan was 15 percent. Right. And that is correct. I actually worked on that plan in late 2015 and 2016, along with a lot of other people. Wait, this Steve is a big deal. So, I mean, there's reports that Trump in that meeting talked about lowering it to 20 percent. Yes. Well, he, again, it was a, more of a, in okay. the nature of a rumination. But, I mean, what he's trying to say, and what he, what he did say, I won't say trying, without question, it will not go up, point number that's one. That's a big message it to It will CEOs. not go yeah. up, and that's what the CEOs wanted to hear. But that's what President Trump has said was for years Was that their now. primary concern? It was their number one concern. I spoke to some of them before the meeting. I spoke to uh, roundtable, business roundtable staff before the meeting. It was their number one concern. So what Mr. Trump is saying is, no, Biden wants to raise taxes. I want to cut them. He's saying, I'm a growth guy. Biden's a redistributionist guy. And he made the uh, differences very, very clear in that meeting. So he's ruminating. He's 21's for sure. Okay. 20's a round number, nice feel. I myself have always wanted 15. But rem if 15 is on his radar, that's a very good thing. That's an awfully good thing. Because that means a better employment environment, right. more growth. I know what it helps Kudlow investment. Would say if I asked him. It helps the workforce. Okay, who it was helps in the room? Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm knowing the audience was uh, JP Morgan Chase, Jamie Dimon, uh, uh, Citigroup it, CEO. What was it like, Jamie Dimon and, and Trump together? How's their relationship? They do fine. Okay. They do fine. Uh, I spoke to Jamie before the meeting. I mean, actually, um, I had a long talk with Tim Cook uh, of Apple uh, after the meeting. I know him well. Name dropper. Wor no, I know. I worked <laughs> with him when we were in government together. He's a, he's a wonderful man, a brilliant businessman. What a fascinating meeting. I what talked to what else was... Here's the, the thing that's so the, interesting. Yeah, go ahead. I, just let me, I, let me poke one other thing. Sure. They were very concerned about over-regulation. There you go. And things like the SEC yep. or the Federal Trade Commission always bringing antitrust lawsuits. And Mr. Trump was very clear that those agencies would be reined in and he would make much different appointees and that there's no fourth branch of government. The other thing he mentioned that should probably get some more um, airtime, um, with respect to the border catastrophe, and of course he wants to close the border and he's very tough on that, and crime and deportation. But he also said, with respect to a positive immigration scenario, okay, um, He's in favor of well-skilled H-1B high-tech people coming into the United States and getting visas. He's in favor of that, and he would work to expand that program. That's something that the CEOs are very much in favor of. The other thing, Sandra, that he mentioned, though, and this is a longtime Trump priority but never got off the ground, young people who are in the United States, provided that they're vetted and have a visa, if they go to college in the United States, they should be able to stay and work in the United States. Right now, the way the system is, you only here for a limited amount of time and you have to leave. And he said clearly, I want America to be a magnet for the best and brightest people all around the world. And he did, you know, that never sees the light of day, that point of view, but it's so, so terribly important from his thinking. The other thing is, I could say, I've been to a lot of BRT meetings with him when we were in the government. Okay. 
you could have heard a pin drop. Interesting. You could have heard a pin drop. You know, you look around and there was no fidgeting. There were no people pulling out their cell phones and all that. I mean, they... Are these CEOs for Trump? They, well, I don't know. I well, mean, it's not a political event, Sandra. It was a <laughs> policy, substance, and business event. They're but, for a business-friendly environment, I can tell you that. they were riveted on him, and he did the whole thing with Elon. He was moderate temperamental. He was analytic. And you know what else he had? Energy. He had a lot of energy. I think he may have had more energy than the interviewer. <laughs> <laughs> That's not possible, Larry. Well, I that know, is but not I'm possible. telling you, he was on his game. Uh, um, well, thank you very much for sharing what you could from that meeting. Very informative. All right, good to see you, Larry. Bye. We'll see you at 4 o'clock on FBN. Appreciate it. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.